I am Louise. Uh, I'm currently a research master's student. I'm at the University of Nottingham in their vet school. My science is just looking at non-tuberculous mycobacteria in badgers. I just really like bovine TB. I just think it's really interesting. I really like zoonotic infections um, and like emerging diseases and stuff. I did a placement last year with the APHA who were part of DEFRA. I was like, oh, this is kind of what I want to do as a job. And like TB, um, I did a little research project in it in college, so it just seemed like quite a nice jumping off point because it is a zoonotic infection and it is just really important in the UK at the minute. And it's also really, really contentious because of like the badgical and the vaccine and stuff to do with the EU. And it was just this kind of horrible mesh of science and politics and animal rights and farming and yeah. I didn't want to do an easy subject. <laughs> I have way too many hobbies for anyone, but the hobbies I was gonna talk about was like needle crafts, knitting, spinning, and needle felting. <laughs> I taught how to knit by my Nana when I was about eight, and I did it quite a lot as a kid. I didn't do anything fancy, I mainly just did like scarves and blanket squares, like easy projects. And then a couple of years ago, I got back into it. I like to do stuff with my hands. Usually my default is to go on my phone and I was just like, nah, that's not good for me. So I got back into knitting again. I'd like to think when I have my own house, I'm just gonna knit loads of drawers for every single room of the house. Someone I know from uni caught owns an alpaca flock. She got them sheared last summer and she was like, I have all of this fleece and I don't know what to do with it. So I was like, I'll have some free alpaca fleece and I'll learn how to spin it. So now I'm currently just working my way through this bin bag of alpaca fleece. And I'm using a hand spindle, so you kind of spin it when it spins in the air. And if the fibers aren't aligned properly or don't twist, it can fall on the floor quite a lot. So then you just have to be like, oh, start again. <laughs> they have definitely made me more chilled out which is a really good thing. Definitely helpful for the anxiety management. Just general dexterity as well is quite good. Um, I have to do a lot of PCRs and a lot of pipetting. Because it uses such tiny volumes, it has to be like very precise. So it's just nice to practice things using my hands and having patience. And that translates into my work quite nicely. The science is being creative really because although it's completely different to crafting you have to write papers you have to write a dissertation you have to think critically and they're all creative things it's just taught me how to use my time under my own steam and like come up with my own goals and motivation stuff so yeah i think it has made me more creative than i was